Sometimes perfectionism can get out of hand. I mean, nobody likes messing up, but for certain kinds of people, the extreme fear of making mistakes can become severely debilitating. And in this video, I wanna talk about two particular ways how the fear of making mistakes can actually signal an underlying disorder. So if you're the kind of person who has extreme anxiety about making moral or religious mistakes, stick around for the discussion. Human beings are designed for two great connections, social connection and divine connection. Now, this desire for connection is so strong that babies will literally die if they're not touched enough. And prisoners who are left in social confinement for too long will go insane. Thousands of years ago, God said, it is not good for man to be alone. And the unfolding story of history has demonstrated mankind's ongoing struggle to find and forge long lasting social ties. We created human cultures. We built villages and cities where human beings would live in close proximity and develop interdependence on each other. We created taboos that would discourage antisocial behavior. We made laws to punish things that harmed the social harmony that everybody wanted and that we were created to enjoy. And then we came up with a name to describe this experience of living up to all the expectations of society and of God. We called it morality. To be a moral, upright person means to fulfill human and divine expectations. And that feels safe. Above all else, this pursuit for morality, this desire to be socially, morally, spiritually correct, above all else, it's a desire for safety and connection. And the Bible does encourage us in this desire. Jesus himself said, blessed are they that hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. But for some people, this desire can cross a line, and what is a normal desire becomes a neurotic desire. This intense anxiety about making spiritual or moral mistakes has a name. It's called scrupulosity, and it's actually a manifestation of obsessive compulsive disorder in your moral and spiritual center. Scrupulosity involves intense rumination about whether you made a mistake, overemphasis on the particular details of your lifestyle, or difficulties remembering if you made a mistake in past events. For example, a mother with scrupulosity might worry excessively that allowing her children to watch cartoons is going to ruin their spirituality. But rather than studying the Bible, finding a conclusion and moving on, she'll continually vacillate cyclically between two options, letting them watch cartoons and then not letting them watch cartoons. See, if she lets them watch cartoons, she's afraid that she's gonna ruin their spirituality. But if she doesn't allow them to watch cartoons, she worries that she's going to ruin their childhood. Scrupulosity gets us stuck in these moral dilemmas, unable to feel that we've made the right decision. Now, there was this guy named Soren Kierkegaard. He was a pretty famous philosopher. He's known as the father of existentialism. And some people believe that he may have suffered from scrupulosity himself. And it's interesting because he wrote, do it or don't do it, in either case, you will regret it. This is not the same as vacillating in the face of temptation. For example, the guy who's trying to stay away from porn, but he keeps falling for it. No, with scrupulosity, you don't have that really clear sense of right and wrong. You have a constant self-doubt, constant questioning about whether you made the right decision. Another way that scrupulosity can manifest itself in our constant pursuit of perfection is not in like this cyclical way, but in a linear way. Some people in their pursuit of moral and spiritual perfection, they go beyond everybody else in their faith community. They go beyond the requirements of God and they go even beyond what any other human being has ever done. So yes, for any data nerds out there, scrupulous people are definitely the outliers in any faith community. They are so terrified of messing up, so afraid of making mistakes, that they, they give themselves this huge buffer. But the problem is that over time, that buffer fails to give them that same sense of safety and security that it once did. So they have to go to further uh, pursuits and further spiritual extremes to give themselves that same sense of safety and okayness. It might be an urge to dress more and more and more modestly. It might be going out of your way two hours to return two pennies that was accidentally overpaid to you. It might be refusing to go to a store or read a magazine out of fear that bad thoughts are gonna pop into your head. The driving motivation behind scrupulosity is a desire for safety. We wanna feel that everything's okay, that we didn't do anything wrong, we didn't make a mistake, everything's okay. That's what we want to feel. 
But keep in mind that scrupulosity is a manifestation of obsessive compulsive disorder. That's something going on in your brain, not in your soul. And so no matter what you do, you're constantly going to be getting these error messages that something is wrong. And so by pushing yourself into this kind of outlier, um, kind of extreme lifestyle and pushing yourself to further and further extremes of moral and spiritual perfection, you never will reach a permanent sense that everything's okay. Your buffer will constantly be betraying you and you're going to have to keep pushing yourself to further and further extremes of religious behavior to reach that same high that everything's okay. Our desire for safety is what compels us into these cyclical rumination cycles or these extreme outlier lifestyles where we're going to extremes in religious and moral behavior in order to avoid making any kind of mistake. Why are you so anxious about messing up and making mistakes? Well, you know, some people are just really perfectionistic. Other people, they do have, you know, trauma and baggage from the past that they need to work through with a therapist. But in actuality, some people do have a real underlying disorder like scrupulosity that needs to be treated. Right now, there isn't a lot of awareness about scrupulosity. Um, it's also known as moral OCD or religious OCD. Not a lot of awareness right now, but um, research su suggests that up to 33% of people with OCD have religious and moral intrusive thoughts. So it is something that needs to be addressed. It needs to be talked about. People need to be aware of it. And if you are watching this and you're thinking like, oh my goodness, maybe that's me. Maybe I have scrupulosity. Um, you're already way ahead of the pack because it is very underdiagnosed and that's part of what I am trying to do in my channel and in my website is to raise awareness about scrupulosity. So I'm going to actually leave some links below where you can go to my website and take a free scrupulosity test. You can get some information about the disorder. You can find out your treatment options and a lot more information there. I'm so glad you've watched this far. Um, if you're somebody who has been diagnosed with scrupulosity, please go ahead and leave a comment below for others who are going to come along and watch this. Um, you don't know how you can help them out in their journey as well. Um, but just tell us a little bit about yourself, uh, how your journey with scrupulosity has been, how uh, your fear of messing up and mistake and making mistakes has impacted you and tell us a little bit about how you've been able to work through that. We'd love to hear from you and I'm sure that others will be interested in your story as well. So again, thanks for watching and I definitely look forward to seeing you next time.